many motorcyclists on the boat today. Let's have a look. Too bad. Got a fridge. Nice little view as well. I think there was a problem with the original cabin that we booked, so they've just uh, upgraded ours to a better cabin because there's uh, some free basically. So uh, we're just waiting to leave the dock, and it's uh, approximately six hours, I think, from Harwich to Hook Van Holland, so we can sleep whilst we're crossing. It takes about two hours to get uh, through Holland apparently, through the Netherlands and then uh, we're going to head down towards Würzburg to a village half an hour just outside Würzburg where we're going to be stopping for two days uh, with some friends down there and then uh, after that we're going to be riding the romantic road so can't wait to do that. Fantastic! The MGs are off. So just on the autobahn now, making a little bit of progress. It's in kilometres guys, not miles per hour. <laughs> but you do have to look out for Audis and BMWs coming up behind you. So the Romantic Road or the Romantic Straza first became apparent to me when I received this great motorcycle tours of Europe by uh, Colette Coleman was given to me as a Christmas present and one of the routes in the book was the, the Romantic Road, ride the Romantic Road 600 kilometres and that can deviate the distance depending on where you go uh, and some of the pictures in the book uh, just fantastic. The medieval hilltop town of Rothenburg, Ob de Torbe, uh, King Ludwig's most famous palaces, fairy tale looking, Norschwinstein Castle nestled in the Bavarian Alps. Some of the views just look fantastic. That's a funky little motorbike, isn't it? Electric trike. Cool that was. And this is the famous bridge where the pilgrims used to come across to go up to the monastery. And there is the monastery on the top of the hill. Pilgrims years ago used to cross this famous bridge to get to the monastery. The bridge is pedestrianised now and it's littered with bishops all across the bridge on either side. Trish is watching the bike whilst I walk across the bridge. <laughs> it's a lovely sunny day in Burmesburg today. So let's get cracking on the romantic road down to Birch's Garden. Magic. Uh, the first town on the Romantic Road is Bad Munden's Hines, something like that. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we've got the open road now, but the road is just great. It's like a billiard table, there's no potholes. And the only thing that did worry me that there was a sign for deer uh, to jump out uh, potentially. But I think if you think about that, then it'll just distract you from the journey. You just got to crack on and enjoy these roads. As it says in the book, some of these swooping bends on this section is you can see in the distance. So you can see the trajectory of the bend, the apex and traffic coming the other way. No commercial traffic on this road.
So just coming into Rothenburg now. I think we'll be going parking here. Is this place nice? It's good to walk around. Walk around. Yeah. 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 I think so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check it out. Yeah, we'll <laughs> Let's see if we can find the right way. <laughs> Which way? Ah, this way, through the arch. This looks like this square. There we go, next one at three o'clock. So that was Rothenburg, very nice. Walk around the wall for free, very good. Uh, along the route guys you'll see this sign at the side of the road Romantis Romantic Street Romantic Strava Straza I'm just being pointed out by Mrs. DMT there's a McDonald's over there so we're going to get a liquid refreshment uh, but this is Nordlington it is a walled town since it was uh, the city was built inside the crater but look, it's a bit like York uh, in Yorkshire in England where you can drive in, so why not? We'll have a little drive in, see what it's like. The church uh, in the centre of the crater of Norlington uh, was built with the remnants of the rocks that were thrown up from the uh, meteorite hitting, hitting the centre. They actually built the church or the bell tower with the rocks. And the church is behind there, it's pedestrianised, this is as close as we're going to get guys, so I'm going to have to show you the footage from the video clip that I've seen earlier before I came. Going to the next town, and then we're going to be finding somewhere to stop, we'll find a guest house and somewhere to stop for the night. Uh, it's getting towards uh, tea time, so... Uh, Done a lot of mileage today, uh, so we'll crack on with this last final leg of the first day. All right, situation update on the first day's riding. Uh, the first few towns and uh, villages that we went through, really beautiful, really, really picturesque, the walled medieval towns. Um, Rothenheim is really nice. Um, we decided to carry on after Rothenheim, maybe go another town or two. Uh, we seem to be having trouble finding a, a guest house or guest house. Um, we've stopped at two or three and they're all boarded up, all locked up. Uh, there's no one there, all closed up. So we're, we're struggling. So uh, we went to a campsite. Sometimes you get these hostels, but that was just a campsite. A girl there said we could carry on to the next town. Um, there may be something there. And this th first third of the Romantic Road are roads like this with little kinks in them, but there's a lot of straight roads. Uh, so I think it feels like I've had the wall pull up over my eyes at the minute because, um, you know, come and ride the Romantic Road. Well, 
romantic. I'm kind of falling out of a relationship with uh, the romantic road at the moment. I'm hoping the second two thirds of the road down in the Alps, it will pick up a little bit and, that, and that's where we'll get some nice twisty roads. Uh, but this first third, it's all about the scenery and the, the historical buildings, medieval buildings and towns, uh, lovely little villages, but it's not so much about the, uh, the twisties, I would say. But let's crack on and see if we can find uh, somewhere to sleep and uh, rest up. Oh, that's a bit of a drop. So it turns out we've got the last room in this hotel. Um, but it's come at a bit of a price, a bit of a hit. £150 for a bed and breakfast. Uh, Diddlingham, I think this town's called. Um, but we're just gonna have to uh, take the hit. That concludes the first day's riding, but we have clocked up a lot of mileage tomorrow. Uh, there'll be a sh short section down to the corner. So I've been going south so far, and then we'll hang a right towards the Alps. And then this, in the book it does say that some of the roads are better there. So I'm hoping some of the roads improve. I'm fed up of nice scenery, nice towns, nice villages. Uh, I've overdosed on them. Want some nice roads now, so hopefully this next section, tomorrow morning anyway, that uh, it will pick up and then we'll get some nice riding roads. So uh, yeah, so we'll check into this hotel and um, I'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning. Bye bye for now.